5.30. Today our champion Dave Richards of Woburn, Massachusetts faces the challenge of Paul Berger of Hopedale, Massachusetts on Candlepin Bowling. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Candlepin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and as always, speaking for the whole crew, we are sure glad that you could join us here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts for three strings of Candlepin Bowling, total pinfall determining our winner. Each takes home a permanent souvenir. These are provided by Weeks Trophy of Lynn, Massachusetts. Each will take home some guaranteed prize money. $1,200 uh, is guaranteed. $700 of that goes to the winner, $350 to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string. And obviously, if they tie a string, we split that at $25 a piece. There are several other opportunities for our bowlers to uh, pick up some extra money in uh, some of the bonuses. And we, we also have a $50 gift certificate to, to our Marksman of the Day. That's from Rotman's Furniture and Carpet Store of Worcester, Massachusetts. And uh, Dave Richards also received another present from Rotman's, as did one of our home viewers, for winning three in a row. All right, let's talk to today's bowlers, shall we? Paul Berger, I'm telling you, you don't look old enough to have been on this program 42 times. <laughs> I'm old enough. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it, huh? 42 appearances, and of course, two in the big championship to go, huh? Uh, what's new in your life besides the fact that I see your sons are growing like weeds? Yeah. That's about it. They're, uh, they're occupying all my time, and occasionally I get to throw a few strings. <laughs> are they participating in some athletics? Yeah, um, I have my oldest boy is a real good skier, and my young son is uh, an all-star baseball player, and they keep me busy. I guess so. How about bowling? Do they bowl? Uh, they bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not in any leagues yet, but soon. And not in your class yet, obviously. <laughs> Dave, let's see now. Uh, you have four in a row, so you've got 38 more to go, right? To be <laughs> easy. <laughs> sure. Well, it, you've had three very fine weeks in a row, and as I uh, noted, you also got the Rotman Shays, the luxurious velvet recliner, and that goes to anybody who gets three in a row. But not if you get six in a row or nine in a row or whatever. No, just just, just three. In a row. Just three in a row. Okay. So I can't start my own store if I keep on going. No. <laughs> hey, good luck to both of you. This one should be a good one. We'll get underway right after this. Candlepin Bowling is sponsored in part by Cotter True Value, the You Can Do It hardware store. You can do it. The Raymond family searching for bargains at their neighborhood True Value. And their family is turning to our family for the bargain of the month. 32 crystal clear glasses, classic styling. It's the Anchor Hockey Empress Collection. Use it every day or give it as a gift. Priced at a True Value, just $6.99. For personal service and low prices, bring your family to ours. You can do it with true value. Shopping for a recliner? $2.99 is a good starting price, but that's the current position. Newbury College has the courses and degree programs you need. For more information, call 1-800-225-5800 today. Hey, go get them, kid. We are underway with our challenger, Paul Berger of Hopedale, Massachusetts, on the line. Just missed the head pin, has left the four horsemen left side, the eight pin and the ten pin. One, eight, and ten still there. Eight and ten out of there, the head pin never did go down. Right now, Paul's league average, 127. Four pieces of wood by the sixth pin. Seven pin is alone over on the left. Seven pin still standing. Another nine. 
Now our defending champion, Dave Richards of Woburn. Dave has won three in a row. So close to starting with a strike. Everything down except the six pin. It staggered for a moment, but it stayed up. So he begins with a spare. Dave began this uh, streak by defeating Phil Harris. That was a couple of weeks ago. Very close to another strike. This time he left only the four pin. Last week he defeated his good friend Wayne Denon. Excuse me, two weeks ago, and Michael Juste last week. All right, Paul Berger on the line now. Very close to picking up the strike. He has left one pin, and Ralph Stewart wants to take a look to be sure that the piece of wood stays behind the deadwood line. He signals it is behind there and has given Paul the signal to fire away and he has made the spare Paul Berger is employed as a purchasing manager for Sun Microsystems and he has just had a nine pin drop another single pin this is the four pin to pick up he's all over it Richards. He's employed by MVP Sports. Trying to make it three in a row. He gets a seven for a fill. But he has left the two four on the left. The six pin over on the right. No wood to help. And he tried to kick it over. But he has left the six pin. Dave's league average is 125. Mix it up again. He has another spare leave. This one is made up of the four and the eight over on the left side. No wood to help. He has it. Each of our bowlers with a bonus ball to throw. As we take a look at the scoreboard after four, with pins already down, it is Richards 55 and Berger 47. Paul Berger working on a spare. Here's the fill. He gets how many? A couple of more just tumbled. He got a total of seven. He now has the head pin, the seven, and the nine, with wood behind the head pin and in front of the nine. Didn't make it. Missed the head pin. Nine. Paul's high single is 191, and oddly enough, that's a high single that Dave Richards has. Everything down except the six pin. Two pieces of wood on a slight angle in front of it, and he uses it and makes the spare. Dave Richards, two spares, a nine, and now another spare. Five is his fill. He'll have no wood to help, but he's looking at two, four, seven on the left, six, ten on the right. He took out the left side beautifully. Perfect two, four hit. Two, four pocket hit, I guess I should say. He left the ten. <laughs> 